Okay. And then Aquarius. So, Aquarius. Aquarius is... Sorry, I'm just trying to think of when I did that. I don't remember. Okay. Aquarius, we already mentioned, is a you know that divine masculine outwardly expressive energy. Excuse me. Uh it's the eleventh zodiac sign and Saturn is Aquarius's ancient planetary ruler we already we, we spent a lot of time on Aquarius already but um, just to kind of reiterate or to expand that you know Aquarius connects to the 11th house in astrology and the 11th house is about networks, technology, um, friendliness to, I feel like it's like friendliness is needed in order to develop these networks. Socializing with others, bringing others together, specifically under a cause. So like when you think of networks, you think, I, I feel like you, I think about like these kind of nodes of focus that people gravitate towards depending on their interests and networks because people are so multi-dimensional like they cross over and intersect and all that other kind of stuff but the idea is that there's a focus for each of these different networks and um that Saturn energy to me brings patience it brings um, experience <laughs> hard work um, restrictions which who wants to hear the word restrictions um, I feel like Saturn energy also teaches us how to, I feel like we don't think of Saturn as a creative entity because I think in and of itself, it's not necessarily a creative entity, though sometimes the struggles that you go through, you like, mm, Saturn really, really was being creative on this one, wasn't, wasn't, mm-hmm. Um, but, <laughs> oh man, anyway, um, I feel like Saturn invokes creativity through restriction. So if you, you know, oftentimes I feel like we just kind of want life to be easy, right? Or we think if life were easy, like, oh, wouldn't it be great if life was easy and I just had everything I needed, we would be so I would feel like we would be uncreative because it's like when you're in a situation where you don't have everything you need, you have you have to figure out a way. You have to use your mind, your creativity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Maybe even ask for help or get other resources or tap into other people. Like right, you got you have to start shucking and driving a little bit and being creative and thinking outside the box sometimes. Um, when you're when you're set up against a restriction or a roadblock or a hurdle or something of that nature and so that's what i feel like saturn does and like i said saturn has our greatest good and heart even though we question whether or not saturn even has a heart um i'm just saying not trying to throw saturn under the bus but here it comes right so, you know, I feel like this idea of restriction forces us to be more creative. Um, again, it's not creativity. It just invokes creativity. Or not, I should say not necessarily. I'm not saying that Saturn isn't creative. Um, and then also this energy about hard work and learning. Learning and patience. You know? 
Patience. Mm, we have less and less patience these days, but 